right so I can see another potential setup here you can see we didn't quite get down to the lows which I thought might happen but we bounced um, after a break and a new low of this short-term channel uh, the price has shot through the EMA came down and made a first entry and then a second entry which failed right at the EMA here there's room to scalp at the highs and uh, yeah that's a really good trade I didn't take it because I was trying to do my video um, stuff at the time but um, definitely looks a bit sideways but that's that's a reversal pattern there it's coming off the lows it's the type of thing you want to be looking for and uh, if you took that then it would have worked out really nice you would have still been in this runner probably and I'm just going to move this up because the setup's not quite working out how I thought it would but if this makes a matching low here or drops below this bar and uh, gives me a really nice bullish signal bar I'll take it as a second entry long but you, you could also look at this maybe if there's a triple test or a double test of this low here and see what happens it's coming up it's getting uh, bullish so that's a good sign I can't take it on an engulfing bar here because there's no low to put my stop under until this closes so at the moment this is looking good how I enter the trade is I'll put it one tick above the signal bar which is this green bullish bar here and my safety stop will go one tick below the green signal bar but if this breaks above here now it's a second entry long in an uptrend after the first break of the main trend so that's a good setup according to the patch track strategy hoping it will go now and it's also a triple test a double test I guess it's a better way to put it or if we move up here is that a triple test it is a triple test so you see there's loads of room to scalp out up to the top here Hopefully this will shoot up. Um, but it's not looking good at the moment. Here we go. It is off the midline as well. Uh, it'll be closing. If it breaks above there, it'll be above the midline of the range. If this doesn't break above there, I'm not going to hold my order there because then it would be too congestive there'd be three bars stacking up side by side with one of them there we go with a small body so order filled yeah and any luck I'll be able to get a nice runner right up to the top of the range we'll see But for those that don't know why this is a second entry, we start the count from the new high, which is here. And then the first time the next bar breaks above the previous bar, that's what we call the first entry. And then it moves lower, and then, that, and then the time after that, that it breaks the previous bar, like it did here, then that's where the second entry triggers. You put your buy order one tick above this sig green signal bar, and then the uh, sell stop, the safety stop goes one tick below the 
Sit in the bar. This is taking a little while. It looks like we're going to be filled any minute. There we go. I'm going to just pull my runner for a minute because I'm hoping it's going to come and clear these stops out here and it should shoot, shoot up. It's looking good. Uh, while that's doing, I'll just give some more commentary about the strategy itself um, for the benefit of my Facebook friends. Basically, this strategy works on a, um, a rule of two. So when I say second entry, what we're really looking for is with failures is two attempts for the bulls to go higher but then the market movers, the institutions um, will create a trap basically. So all the people say who went long above this bar, they um, didn't get their scalp and this bar turned in the opposite direction. So basically these guys are trapped. And uh, as, the mar as the institutions sort of sell 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 people start panicking and they'll exit their orders and then this causes a big move down afterwards so that's what happens with the trap um and we take these at key entry points which are trend lines and the 21 bar moving average <clears throat> that's and then you take second entries with the trend as well which is which is what I did here. Um, people going along here realized that this is not the way the market's going to be moving because it failed at the EMA, so they'll exit, they'll move the thing, and it'll should create enough momentum to take it exactly where um, they want it to go. So stop filled. And. Uh, Usually with trends, as you can see, I got stopped out, but you know, if I've got a scalp, I'm not bothered. Maybe if there's a high low, I might enter again. We'll see, see how this bar plays out. I'm just gonna get my order ready here. Um, yeah, so the trends. Order submitted. We take um, second entry, the fail second entries at key entry points. Uh, we also take these triple tests as well. If you found support and you test it three times, then that's a good sign. Prices are going to go in the up direction. Uh, but with the trends, when you see a break, they usually form off the first two swings, by the way. So here we go. It's a good example. First two swings. After a break of the trend line, um, nearly always there's a move to a new high. Uh, most of the time as well, two legs, there's only one leg here, did attempt to make another one, uh, but didn't, couldn't quite make it. But then after these trends play out, you will typically look for failures in the opposite direction. So like this, a failed second entry long, and then that's a reversal pattern. And then you just play the trend is exactly the same as I was saying, you take fail second entries and second entries at the key entry points and uh, yeah Places, there's a lot of sideways going on here um, but like I say we are expecting a new high so another bounce off the support here I might take this Nope. It's just a little failed break below those uh, the support. It's 
still might be worth taking if it closes above the EMA but it looks like prices are really struggling to get past this uh, midline here so what I expect is happening is that they've faked out this breakout here making people think hey this is gonna go this way so people enter below this bar and they get trapped and then all of a sudden boom they push the market higher and everybody who went short here which probably move their stops here and then they'll move the stops here so this will push the market higher and higher and higher the this is a zero sum game for people to win other people need to lose and the trick is to remain on the right side of the market by analyzing this properly um, knowing how price action works knowing how trends work knowing how ranges work uh, knowing how prices react to the EMA this is a nice signal bar <clears throat> I might take this see how it goes I, just, I, I guess this is just a little uh, fail break lower and Order I'm expecting fail. a new high so yeah there's room up to this high here So it's a little bit uh, nerve-wracking when prices don't go exactly where you want them to at first, but I'm pretty confident this is gonna work out. It's usually right at the end of the um, bar that prices will go where you think they're gonna go or where you think they're not gonna go. So let's just see how this plays out here. This is an engulfing bar, but again, I couldn't play it as an engulfing bar because until this bar closes, you need to put your stop below the lowest swing, and which would be here. And although I think this is trade is going to work, and this would have been fine, that's a real big, you know, that's a lot of risk there, really, um, more than I'm willing to take. Looks like this is going to work out. I'm going to mark this blue because it's a really, really nice signal bar. It is a fail break lower below the support. We are expecting prices to make a new high. There's room to the scalp out and it is off the EMA. So blue, I think is appropriate. Target. There we go. I'm expecting, yeah, I'm expecting them to clear these stops now. So, hoping this is going to rock it up a bit and see if we can get a nice runner. This is a long video. I'm sorry, uh, it's so long, but I took this one here as a uh, triple test and worked out fine fell break lower but you know this is pretty sideways so yeah got stopped out straight away but you know that's two hundred dollars in 
under 20 minutes really not bad at all and I've taken this trade and I've taken this trade so that's a $400 day it's four trades $400 no runners unfortunately and I'm kind of learning now that these were on range days like this um, unless you get a breakout um, with a higher low or a lower high on this side then it's not really worth keeping runners this would have worked out really nice but every single trade I've taken today has been um, my runners got stopped out and if I hadn't used a runner then um, you know I would have had three hundred dollars per trade so I would have made a lot more money but it's just these little things that I'm trying to work out these little nuances that eventually hopefully I'll get the hang of so but yeah thanks for watching again and see you later